Okay, so brought a couple things this time. Uh, one, I brought a garbage bag and some new flies to try. Uh, and the garbage bag is for picking up other people's garbage, which there's always plenty up here. So um, I don't usually pick up every little bit of garbage I see, but I try to pick up as much as I possibly can. So there will be water about right here, maybe a little further down than that, but it gets pretty high during the early you know, spring and summer months. So I don't want garbage in the water. Get as much of it out as I possibly can down here. And up there, uh, you can't can't stop people from littering, but you can definitely pick it up, show a little bit of pride in your area. And I'm not doing this because I want clout. That's dumb, I'm not a clout chaser. Uh, I have always picked up garbage everywhere I go. That's just how I was raised. That's how most people are raised, actually. It's, it's a very small handful of people who actually don't show any care for their location. It's a very small, finite amount of people. Uh-uh. The jack tree has wasps all over in it. So if I get stung, well, whatever. It wouldn't be the first time. So, um, now it's picked up. It's gone. That was a screw. These are cans. I'll just pick up these cans. Look. White Claw, really? Nesquik, you have kids, or if you just like Nesquik yourself, just tell your kids to pick it up, take it to the trash. What's this? Looks like a toy, dog toy. Big dead trout right there, that's sad. Uh, that's what happens though in these hot months. And just because a fish swims away, doesn't mean it survives. I found underwear and bras and bikinis and stuff up here. I just want to know what happened to the lady that lost those. You know? How did you get out and get up? <laughs> up here is a diaper. I saw that yesterday. That's gross. I have two kids. Right there, there it is. I have two kids. I have to take them out, enjoy the outdoors. I change the bums. I pack out my diapers. You guys can too. Part of being a responsible adult is picking up after yourself. Pack it in, pack it out. It's the easiest Boy Scout code to live by. Look at this. This is sad. There's one there. But right here is just a big, big dead wiper. I mean, nature's taking its course. That's cool, but it makes you wonder what killed it. There's a bunch of dead fish up here, too. It's, uh, it's sad. Sometimes they die naturally. I'm not saying that it's always a human who kills them doesn't handle them properly or maybe they did handle it properly and it just didn't you know take to re being revived very well there's a whole lot of reasons you, know, you can't just blame humans for every single problem that something faces here are my flies I'll show you which one I'm gonna try yeah sorry if I'm out of breath that is a hike and when you're talking you don't get a a lot of oxygen <laughs> and uh, I'm slightly out of shape as well I have a desk job and after having my second kid it's been kind of a rough time getting back into shape but I'm working on it my plan is to be able to do Deseret Peak again that's a really good hike it's a it's one of the more difficult hikes in Tooele County and I think it's actually one of the rougher hikes in Utah. I could be wrong. I haven't looked at that in a while. But it's a good hike. It's pretty up there. Alright. To stop this camera from dying quick and overheating, because it's still pretty hot, I'll probably stop recording. 
until I catch something and hopefully I'll get the hook set. If I don't, you'll at least get to see the fight and the fish landing. That's if I get something. But before we do that, let me show you what I have. I have streamers because the fish are going to be down a little bit lower and they haven't been biting woolly buggers like that one night. So I have a little jig head right here, a little streamer. I think this is a sculpin pattern. I don't think there's sculpins in here, but uh, you never know if they'll bite that. This is just another woolly bugger right here. Hopefully you can see that. That might be good. I don't know if I'll use that because they haven't been biting those. This one's a, a egg leech. A leech eating an egg, I think, is what that is. Um, they might take that, maybe not. And then we have some really good ones here. I'm going to try this white one. Just got another one of these right here. I might try this one too, because this looks like a bait fish that they have in here. It's this one. I can't remember what it's called. And then this white one, which is pretty cool. So we'll probably try these more fish pattern ones. And then there's another, another white one. This one as well. We'll probably try this one too. The water's a little stained. Not too bad, but we'll probably try those at first. See if we can get a fish on those. And then we'll start with probably this white one, which could be like a fish or a worm, it has a really long tail. And then we'll move on from that. So good stuff, stuff that there, and uh, I'll get this set up and we'll see if I end up getting a fish. If not, it'll be a short video. Okay, so this white one wasn't doing it. I cast it out a few times, kind of jigged it a bit. No takers, not even a sniff or a follow so i'll take that one off and i'm going to try this one and i do believe this is a modeled sculpin um i could be wrong about that but that's what i'm going to try and again i'll just turn the camera off if i catch something i'll get you guys back so that sculpin i believe it was a sculpin wasn't cutting it either so toss that for a bit so i'm going to move to the san juan worm this seems to do the job quite well. I almost always get a bite. Doesn't mean I always get a hookup, but I almost always get a bite on it here. And I just fish it like a worm on a bobber. So the hook is more like that. So when they bite it, they take it. All right. So we'll try that. I also have it on a indicator as well. All right. We're going to try the pink and purple. I think this is an egg head leech, or a leech eating an egg. Uh, I don't really know, but we're gonna try this one now. <laughs> Didn't get the photo cup, but I felt him get take it. So he's a good fighter, taking a lot of drag. I felt him, saw him kind of just take it on the line. The line kind of straightened out a little bit. I felt him hook up, so. Scaring off another fish over there. Let's see if we can get them in. Feels like a pretty good size. If they start running, you let them take it. You don't want them to break the line off. Just loosen up the drag, and then when they're not chasing, that's when you reel it. That's when you reel it in. Ooh. I don't know if I have him or if I snagged him. It looks like a wiper though. Could be wrong. But we'll find out. He's taking me deep. Oh, he's almost got me spooled. So I'm going to have to really start. When they're out there running, you keep the pull, pull up in the direction that they're going. If you go the opposite direction, if they swim to the left, then you put the pull to the right. And if they swim to the right, you put it to the left. And if they start running straight, you put the pull up like that. And you can just... Keep the eye on the line. Looks like he's coming in. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if I snagged him or if he bit it because he's kind of jumping out of the water all weird. So I guess we'll find out. Looks like a pretty good sized trout. If 
if I snagged them, that makes me feel bad, but that happens. You don't do it on purpose. You just always do it on accident. And I don't have a net, so the way I land them is I just bring them up on shore like this, and then reel in, hold the rod, and you don't want to break the line, so you just keep it tight. That is a big, big trout out of here. Look, I can thumb them. Look at that. Big toad of a trout right there. Good sized trout. Hold them by the tail, keep your hand underneath them and they won't squirm. It's when you start squeezing them is when they want to jump out. This one's a stalker. We're gonna get them off and we'll put them back. That is a good sized trout though. That is a big trout. There we go, it's out. And now, again, just take a quick look at them. Looks like it got caught, there we go. Just in the corner of the mouth there. Nice big trout. Let's go ahead and get them revived and get them back out there. Preferably where there's not a lot of moss. Yeah. I'm gonna slip on the mud before I get them in. All right. And you just rock them back and forth like this. Nice big trout. Give him a good shake every once in a while. He's put up a big fight, he's tired. He's breathing though. He's gotta get water between those gills. You're just helping him breathe. Looks like he wants to get going. If they kind of swim out like that, they're just kind of still in shock. You just gotta come around nice and slowly here. You wanna give them you want to have them fight you out. You don't want to just let them go because then they'll turn bottom up. There we go. See, just like that. Fought a little bit and then turned the belly up. Just help him get back. You just got to figure out where he's at. He just swam around a whole lot. Back up this way. Back up that way. He wants to stay in the moss and it's not where we need you. Well, I'll just keep an eye on it. Let's get back out there. I'll come back and check on it. All right. And when that happens, just check our fly, make sure it's good, which it is. We might be taking a fish home today. Would not complain with a fish that size. That one's been attacking flies all day. I've been watching it. He almost had me spooled. So I'll tell you what I was doing. I just cast the fly out there. And I let it sit. Get the fly out. You gotta let it nice, have it land nice and soft just like that. This one particularly is floating, but eventually it gets waterlogged and it starts sinking. Like that, it's sinking. And then all you do is you keep the rod tip like this and you wait for it to get kind of straightened out and you'll see tiny little bites. I don't know if we'll be able to do it again, but you just look for tiny bites that straighten out the line. There's one there, I just saw it. And they're tiny bites. They come in, they kind of gobble it. Oh, that was a bite. I even felt it. Okay, the line kind of went straight and taut there for a sec. I think that was the fly kind of sinking. And now we're just looking for it to get a little bit more straight. Could be very subtle. Now I was using all these other things trying to get them when they were deeper, like the streamers and whatnot, and then I was like, well, the only thing floating around here are these red dragonflies. They're all over the place. So I decided to put on a fly that has the same kind of coloration as those dragonflies. Let's see how well that goes. A good key here is to just make sure that you give them time to eat the fly. So if you feel them, I don't feel anything right now, but if you feel them, you let them eat it. I'm just moving the tip of my rod to entice a bite here, hopefully. Another one. I can end on that. That was a good catch. Not gonna lie. 
I don't want the battery to die in case I catch another one, so I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so no other bites and I ran out of time, so I'm gonna go home. Uh, the other fish didn't make it, so I'll be cooking him up. I'm gonna go pick up a little more trash to put in the trash bag and uh, we'll be back again, hopefully tomorrow. I guess we'll find out. So I thought this was pretty interesting. <clears throat> I'm out of breath because I had to run back to the island to pick up some stuff I left there on accident, but this can, it's a pull tab. An old Budweiser pull tab can that I found right over there, <clears throat> over there. And uh, I thought that was interesting because I thought they stopped making these, it's about, 70s 80s something like that but uh, i thought that was interesting that can's been there for a while just kind of became visible when the water dropped but it's been there that long and it was completely dry and out of the water where it was at so i figure that's pretty interesting <sighs> oh i need to get in better shape but to be fair I ran from about right there, all the way to there, and I'm way out of shape. That shouldn't be kicking my butt, but it is.